What's going on guys? Greggles TV. We're looking at the Kindle Paperwhite. This is the 2015 version. It goes for $119 and it comes with ads on the front of the screen. If you want the one without ads, it ends up being $139. Let's open this up, see what's inside. When you open up the Kindle Paperwhite, you don't get a power brick. You only get a micro USB cable and that's it. So you have to provide yourself with your own power brick. If you don't have one, they do sell one. I will link it in the description down below. You also get this handy dandy guide on how to use your Kindle. Shows you that that's where you plug it in to charge it. That's the power button and that's all the buttons on this. And here is the Kindle Paperwhite. It comes in white like you see here and black. And what it is, it's an e-ink display and it's 300 DPI and you get to use this for basically, if you leave it in this mode without a backlight, you can get weeks of battery life, which is amazing, especially uh, with phones and things being, you know, hours a day that you get battery life. Real reading time with the backlight and, you know, mixed reading, you'd probably get anywhere, you get anywhere between about 20 and 30 hours. Here's the back of the Kindle. There's nothing really here except the uh, Amazon logo. At the bottom of the device, you see the micro USB and the power button. And that's all the buttons, that's the whole thing. This is what you're gonna see when I said that there's ads on here. You'll see this is an ad right here, it's always on. It's actually, I can't figure out how to turn it off. Even when you power it off, this comes right back. So to turn it on, just press the button at the bottom and it says swipe to unlock, so I'm gonna swipe. And there you go. You can read just like this. Now the backlight is not on. To turn the backlight on, all you do is touch at the top. Touch the third button, the one that looks like a little sun or a gear, and then I'm gonna hit max. Now this is what it looks like with the backlight. I'm gonna turn all the lights off just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So there you go, if you wanna read a book, this is how it looks with the backlight. You can, you can see it really, really well. And if you turn the backlight off and you have a bright light or the sun, you'll also be able to read it and you'll actually save a lot of battery life. This is what it looks like half bright with all the lights out. And then here it is off. And there it is completely off. It does have built-in Wi-Fi, so if you want to download books or send yourself books, it does have Wi-Fi, it's very easy to connect. Here's some of the settings right here. You'll see you have Wi-Fi networks that you can connect to. You can register the device. Device options. You can set parental controls, a device password, uh, you can personalize your Kindle by giving it a name. You can set the device time. Advanced options is uh, everything from uh, your home screen view, uh, next in series options, saved Wi-Fi passwords, whisper sync for books. You also get language and dictionaries. So you can, uh, if you don't know what a certain word is, you can press and hold on it and see what the definition of it is. And this right here is the store itself. So you can download books directly from here or if you download books um, with your uh, phone or your computer, they'll also show up on here and you can download them. So this is my library currently what I'm looking at. If you wanna look within the store, you can hit search at the top here. If you know the book you're looking for, so say you wanna watch, read Harry Potter, I should say. Let's type in Harry Potter. And it brings up Harry Potter, you click on it. So you can see the brings up the Harry Potter book right here and I can read it if I want. All I do is click on it and it tells me a little bit about the book, how long it's gonna take me to read, a little bit about the author. And there you go. When you wanna turn the page, all you do is tap on it and it changes the page. If I wanna go back a page, just press on the left. It's very easy to use and read. And when you're done, again, you just tap up here, hit the home button, and it brings you back. Overall, this device is pretty cool. Um, there's a few things missing though. Um, it not having audio or speakers to listen to audiobooks or text to speech is kind of a downer. Uh, the battery life is crazy, crazy good. Uh, 20 plus hours of reading time uh, or weeks just standing there without it moving an inch. Um, the ads are kind of lame, but you do save 20 bucks. But if you want to remove the ads, all you got to do is pay 20 bucks and remove them. But uh, it does hold about 3,000 books. Um, over, and it's just a cool device. I mean, if you're bringing this on a plane and you love reading, this is perfect because it's not big. It's the same size as a paperback book. It's light. 
I think it's about seven ounces and uh, it just works well if you know if you read it in the sun you don't have to worry about it reflecting off the screen uh, you can read it in the dark because as the backlight it's just a really good device it's not perfect again because it doesn't have the audio but otherwise if you just like to read get this device really cool if you guys have any questions or comments on the kindle paperwhite let me know in the comments down below i'll see you guys down the road peace